Good afternoon. My name is Monica Tibita. I am the Dean School of Journalism, Media and Communication. Um, professor, thank you for that introduction. Uh, the past two weeks, mass communication students have been undergoing uh, multimedia and digital skills training. My question would be why now? Why at this time has the university or you as a faculty allowed this training to hold? We are approached by uh, Ultimate Media, who are our partners. They've trained us in other things before, including digital pedagogy. They approached us and they said they wanted us to give them a chance to work with our students. They gave us specifications, how many students they wanted, what level they wanted, and how long the training was going to be. We had no hesitation at all in letting them do that because uh, we have wanted to incorporate a strong multimedia element into our training, and this was a great opportunity. Wow, that's a good response. Uh, one may ask, you as the head of this faculty, do you find it relevant for mass communication students to undergo this training? Mm -hmm. What's the relevance of the training? The, the, the training is extremely relevant. Uh, as you may know, the media out there have moved away from working in silos. And everybody who is trained in journalism now is expected to be able to multitask, for lack of a better word, to mm -hmm. be able to do some online, some print, some broadcast, and so on. So they are supposed to be kind of self-contained journalists. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we actually have, uh, in revising our curriculum, the most recent time, have recognized this and incorporated a course on media and information literacy in the first year, uh, a course in uh, multimedia production, a course in writing for multimedia environment, and a course in, um, in uh, graphics design. This is all because we, we recognize that we, our graduates are not going to be very relevant unless they have these skills. Um, Professor, do you think this is going to be an ongoing training like annually for the mass communication students or for the journalism students or it's a one-time thing? Um, I want to say this depends on what our partners say. We would be happy to have this as an ongoing thing. Mm. We actually would be happy to to do similar training of our own, if, even if our partners thought they needed to move on and do other things, because we think it's extremely valuable. So I hope it's not a one-off. It won't be very useful if it was a one-off. Because I think we, we need to multiply the skills and have as many journalists as possible able to work in a multimedia environment. Okay, thank you for that response. Now, Professor, to my second last question. Uh, do you have any plans for availing other platforms or means for other students to get this information or to acquire this similar training, even if they are not necessarily media practitioners or journalism students? I think the most, the most immediate avenue for us would be the short courses. We plan to offer a variety of short courses, including in multimedia production and writing and so on. And that is flexible because whether you are a student or not, uh, if you're a working person and you're busy but you have time to do a short course, we will invite you to do these short courses and acquire the skills. Sometimes somebody has had all the training they need except that little area and they just want to plug that. So, so we will have a variety of courses including the multimedia um, journalism. We, you asked about the relevance of the course and I want to say that a lot of the relevance of this course is not just in people acquiring the skills, but what they are able to do with those skills and what that means for the audiences. Mm -hmm. Because I think it expands the scope of journalism and it gives people a chance to operate more independently and, uh, and, and therefore to explore more areas of holding you know, people in power accountable, asking the right questions, informing people about new developments, and opening up debate on issues. Okay. Uh, with this kind of training going on, 
at this school now, the School of Journalism and Media Studies. What do you think the future holds for us as, as a school? I want to say, with or without this training, I want to say that our, that our goal as a school is to continue um, providing space for people to come and acquire excellent skills. Mm. In, uh, in in journalism and in communication, but to acquire them also in a context of uh, ethical practice, mm. ethical professional practice. And so I want to think that this course and any other courses that we may do are important in the sense that they provide that kind of opportunity for people. Mm. I think we, we, we want to be very deliberate about giving practical skills and giving them in an ethical context. Thank you. As we wrap up this interview, uh, what are your final remarks to the students that are undergoing this training and uh, to our facilitators? Well, I want to thank our partners, Ultimate Media, and also the, the U.S. Embassy that is funding them. I think this is a wonderful investment, and, and I believe it will pay off. Uh, for our students who are doing the training, this is the icing on the cake. We've had a lot of training already, and this is a wonderful way to wrap up your third year, for those of you that are in third year. I just want to say that uh, your, your, for lack of a better word, marketability as a graduate of this course will increase tremendously by virtue of having done this course. But also your influence will improve.